All right, we have a very simple circuit here. Uh, we have a capacitor right here uh, and a battery source, 9 volt battery, and a couple of light bulbs will stand in as a resistor. I'll wire this up so we can show you a charge of a capacitor, and then we'll discharge that charge that's built up in the capacitor into the other light bulb uh, to show you what's called the time constant between these two. Um, pretty kind of cool, and uh, uh, kind of walk through the setup. The majority of capacitors require polarity, so we have to make sure that we do wire it correctly. So we'll start out just simply with the black wires being negative and the red wires being positive. So we'll connect this side of the switch with the light bulb so that when we connect the knife switch this direction, that circuit's running. When we bring this knife switch this way, this half of the circuit is running. The capacitor has a polarity and this is a positive lead on this side. And we'll put it on that terminal. And this is the negative side of the capacitor. And we'll put it on the other side of the terminal. So now we're going to take the capacitor and we're going to put it on that circuit and then we'll put it on the other circuit. So that's the charge side, this is the discharge. So this is the, po uh, the positive wire going all the way over here to that resistor. And there's the other lead to make the circuit complete. So we actually have two circuits here. We have the charging circuit and then we have the discharging circuit. So the battery here, we will connect that circuit, the light bulb will glow. As the capacitor fills up with charge, slowly and slowly the light bulb will dissipate and will basically go out. That means there's no current flow in that circuit. The capacitor is completely full with this voltage. So now we can take it out. In fact, we can actually disconnect it and move it around. I wouldn't put anything across the terminals because you'll actually get a spark. So we can reconnect it, just kind of show you that it's kind of like a battery and we will put it back into this other circuit by flipping the switch over into this light bulb. And this light bulb will take the energy out of the capacitor and run it. So now the light bulb will light up real bright and it'll go down. Now the reason why it's going down is because all the charge that's in the capacitor is going all the way down to zero. And that's being dissipated through the light bulb, which is our resistor in the circuit. Very simple energy storage of a capacitor, showing the charging of the capacitor and showing the discharging of the capacitor.